we're talking about relationships, and we are very lucky to have relationship experts in studio with us this morning. It's the Rockmans joining us. I know. Denise Rockman and Rock Rockman. It's good to see you guys. Thank you. It's good to be here. We first got a glimpse of you on a reality show on Bravo, and you have a very large family. Lots of unique moving parts in that family. Large So well stated, Shelly. Yes, yes. But you guys seem to be very grounded, <laughs> and not only are you, do you both have a great relationship, but you travel around and, and kind yeah. of help others with their relationships. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about what you guys have been up to. Absolutely. Well, we've been doing this for, gosh, oh, getting close almost, to 10 years yeah. now. Almost a decade. Um, yeah, almost a decade. We travel, we do um, a relationship tour, mm -hmm. we do television appearances, and we do one-on-one -on -one coaching with folks. And it's because we learn so much in school when we're growing up, but yet when we get out, we know nothing about how to navigate relationships, which that is, is so the biggest true. part of our life. That's true. Let me ask you this. Can every relationship be saved, or are there some that just aren't meant to be? I love that question. You know, that's a phenomenal <laughs> question. And really, some relationships can't be saved. Okay. There are some that just won't work. Uh, but, you know, if you put the effort in, and, and, you know, my wife and I always say, you know, the perfect relationship are two imperfect people mm -hmm. that refuse to give up on each other. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you have that mentality, you can make it through all the punches through life. But, you know, there are some that just won't make it. Yeah, I think it's just like a medical prognosis. There's some situations that are terminally ill, Yeah. you know, and there's no turning back. But then there's a lot that with preventive care and long-term care, they can recover. But we have to be patient with each other. We live in a microwave society. Yes. Everybody yeah. wants everything right away. Fine, I'll upgrade. I'll get rid of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can and do sometimes, better. <laughs> yes. And sometimes we give up too fast. We give up too yes. fast. On something that could have worked out. Now, is it a possibility that two people who are <laughs> at odds with each other could actually learn to fall back in love with each other? Absolutely. We've been together a total we of 18 how to years. Fall back in love with each other. <laughs> if if people who are married know you fall in and out of love a lot. Like, yeah. You cannot base like the strength and stability of, of your relationship or your marriage on an emotion of how you feel. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about a commitment. When there's turbulence on a plane, you don't jump off, you buckle up, you get your breathing mask, yeah. take care of yourself, and you ride it out. You well, know? you know what's interesting, Janice and I, we do this work because our relationship isn't perfect. Right. And we had to learn how to fall back in love with each other. Right. You know, we definitely went through our, you know, ups and downs like mm -hmm. any relationship will. But we just decided divorce is not an option for us. And whatever okay. happens, we're going to make it through. Mm -hmm. And okay. so we learned how to build our relationship. Mm -hmm. And really those trials that you go through in the relationship make you stronger. Yeah. And we even had to set up boundaries in our own relationship. Like there were certain things that I would say to him. He was like, don't ever say that to me again. <laughs> like, I, I didn't know. Right I now. didn't know it affected you that like, way. I was just being honest. You know what I mean? So we had to kind of set up like rules to the game. Like, mm -hmm. how are we going to do this? Okay, so no yelling, no throwing, right. no, you know, well, we weren't really into hitting and throwing, but, you know, set up some sort of, no name calling. Right. You know, don't don't go you below the belt. Yeah. Times, so. That is, see, that drives me crazy. My <laughs> husband <laughs> knows that. Like, if you say, like, that's stupid, I'm like, don't call me stupid. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But what about counseling? How important is counseling uh, when you're in a troubling relationship yeah counseling is very important you know individuals that are counselors went through years of study years of school to help individuals in certain situations mm -hmm. and sometimes when someone is going through something they feel like they're the only one mm -hmm. that's experiencing that but there are so many people that are experiencing the same thing as like you can see like that horse right there the, <laughs> the cabello is like i'm with you um, but you know there are situations that you can truly make it out of yeah. and someone is trained to help you out of that yeah. situation so counseling is very important i mean we go to a barber to get our hair maintained we go to the dentist we go to a podiatrist for our feet if you mm -hmm. have a, neuro a neurological problem a brain problem you go to a neuroscientist or a neurosurgeon so but we don't maintain our relationships we yeah. wait until they crash and burn yep. and he did this quote recently the worst time you can make a decision about your relationship is when you're in crisis because you're about to make a permanent decision based on a temporary so situation true. Right. so true okay stick around we talked a lot about uh, some some facts for folks who are already <coughs> married but it's wedding season yeah so we've got some tips <laughs> some information for those of you who are about to walk down the aisle we've got more with the Rockmans when we come back
Welcome back to San Antonio Living. We are talking with the Rockmans. They are relationship experts, Janice Rockman and Rock Rockman. And we talked a little bit about what to do if you're, you know, having trouble in a relationship. Yeah. Yes. But let's talk to those who are getting ready to get married because this oh. is wedding season, mm -hmm. right? So what if you are engaged, you've got the wedding coming up, but you find that you're constantly arguing? Mm -hmm. Is that like red flag, call it off, or should we start to fix things? Arguing is a natural occurrence okay. in a relationship. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going into a marriage, it's time to set some ground rules. Okay. It's time to lay a foundation and figure out, hey, how are we going to work through this? You know, sometimes you have to have someone that's willing to bow. Okay. Uh, you know, you can't get into name calling and, you know, yelling and screaming and throwing things. So you just want to lay some ground rope. Nothing wrong with arguing, nothing wrong with disagreements. Just have to lay the groundwork there. And sometimes those disagreements can help get out some things that need to get out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in a new relationship, uh, be between a man and a woman, you've got a girl who's used to confiding mm -hmm. in her girlfriends mm -hmm. and a husband or a guy who's used to confiding mm -hmm. in his guy friends. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing when you're re when you're building a relationship? <laughs> that I could see be, a yeah, bad thing. That could be <laughs> yes. Because the thing about it is you are probably going to forget about it down the road. Right. But your in-laws or outlaws or girlfriends or best friends are probably gonna hold your you know, Absolutely. your partner or your spouse hostage to That's their so mistakes true, right. forever. Yeah. And once you've sort of tainted their image or, you know, after a while they'll start saying, well, what, what's wrong now? Like, what is what yeah. is he doing now? What is she doing now? Why are you still with them? So go to a good mentor or coach or a counselor or another couple that has a track record. And, a good track record. And probably not your single friends who don't really know what it's like to navigate a relationship. <laughs> right. You know, so again, you know, disagreement, such as an invitation towards greater understanding, the strength of the relationship is not how much you disagree necessarily, but how quickly you bounce back. Absolutely. Okay. Are you gonna stonewall for a week or for two weeks? Are you gonna, you know, try and withhold, you know, affection or whatever it may be? Or are you gonna learn how to bounce back and move through it? Okay. And, and that's a great point. That's when you know your relationship really yeah. is growing. Uh, when you can bounce back really quickly from those disagreements, yeah, those arguments. Yeah, we had arguments. a disagreement the other day. We, oh, and then yes, was like, we he, did. He was like, you know what? He was like, I still like you. I was like, cool, I still like you too. <laughs> we bounced back pretty quick right? from that back. one too, didn't we? I love that. It's <laughs> great chatting with you guys because, you know, I've been married 14 years and I've already learned five new skills just by sitting here oh, this oh, morning. Oh, that's awesome. Which Thank is you. great. And that's what a relationship is all about. Yes. It's constantly learning and constantly building. Yeah. Now, folks are at home watching this morning. What's coming up for you guys? How can we see you? How can we yeah. chat with you? Oh, cool. Well, you can check us out on our website, okay. uh, www.therockmans.com. We have a um, course that we do okay. um, several times throughout the year. It's uh, coming it's up 20, in September. Yeah, it's coming up in September, mm -hmm. 21 days to the life you love. Uh, we actually have a special TV offer on our website right now. So okay. if you check that out, you can actually get 50% mm -hmm. off on the course right now. Hey, so and find like us on awesome. Instagram, the Rockman's okay. social media, connect with us. We're just everyday people. I know? love it. I love chatting with you guys. Thank you, Thank you, you so much. Great work. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank coming for this morning. Us. You can find the Rockman's online, therockmans.com. And of course, uh, you've seen them on the Bravo show, Thicker Than Water. Again, therockmans.com for details on their upcoming courses.